Okay, so what is up guys? My name is Sean Brown and today I'm going to show you a really good budget option to the Joby tripod. Just a little quick little disclaimer, I'm not saying anything bad against Joby, I just want to let people know that there's budget options to Joby where you don't have to pay as much, you can get pretty much the exact same thing. Like I think I'm getting everything that Joby offers, but uh, except for maybe the name behind it. So you guys are probably used to saying, I do not want to pay $46.99 which is the Amazon price for a tripod. Well, I found the Bontend one, which is probably something you want to see better, which is only $20 uh, on Amazon. So I'm gonna go over the specs, the pros and the cons of this tripod compared to the Joby tripod. So let's get right into that. So the build of this tripod is mainly rubber and plastic based. And the tripod is about 11 inches long. It's kind of close to a foot long. And something that comes with a tripod is a quick release plate. And on this quick release plate, there's also a leveler. So you can make sure your camera is balanced when you're angling your camera up. So what you're gonna wanna do is press this button to release the quick release plate. And then you're gonna screw it on the bottom just a little bit. And then you're gonna wanna take a coin or a key and tighten up the bottom since that's a space under it to tighten it. And then you just click it back onto the tripod since it is a quick release plate mount. And then your camera should perfectly fit on it. When you buy this tripod, it also comes with an iPhone mount so you can mount your iPhone on it. And it also comes with a GoPro mount so you can mount your GoPro on it. So you can use this for both your smartphone and your GoPro. As you can see here, Joby is advertising that it can turn its ball head 90 degrees to its side. And the Bonten can also do this. All you have to do is just loosen this knob right here. And then once you loosen it, you should be able to turn it all the way to its side like this. And you can also adjust the camera or ball head to anywhere you want to so you get the right angle and once you find the right angle you just tighten it back up and it should be good to go. Also with this tripod this is as far as it can go out without bending the legs and when you're bending them it's actually pretty flexible. I was a little nervous when I was first trying it but as you can see here it just perfectly bends right there and also from this angle you can see I can bend it all the way back and I can actually make it touch itself almost. You can also bend it inwards that way so you can see it is pretty flexible and also by this picture here you can see you can wrap around almost anything you want. I would just recommend holding your hand on it while bending it and wrapping around things to make sure it does not fall off because you do not want your camera to fall on the floor. But most of the times it will be okay when you're wrapping it around something. The weight of the tripod is really not that heavy. I think it's only about 11 ounces in weight so that's just a little bit under a pound. And it is going to be a little bit heavier when you have your camera on there, but overall this is a pretty light tripod. So if you're trying to get a tripod for vlogging and just need a handle, this is a perfect option because it's not too heavy. I have a micro four thirds camera, so it's not going to be as heavy as a normal DSLR or a full frame camera. But most of the times I feel like you should be fine if you have a pretty steady grip, but it does allow you to get smooth shots and hold it out farther uh, while keeping it steady at the same time. Okay, so for some like quick specs, the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom, that's why I'm comparing it to because that's just kind of the standard DSLR one. That holds up to three kilograms, which is 6.6 .6 pounds. That's the Joby one. And the Bontend holds two kilograms, which is five pounds. So the Joby holds a little bit more than the Bontend, but it still can get up to there. And I feel like most cameras would be under that unless you have some giant full frame camera. So when doing the weight, you kind of have to add in the camera body weight and the lens weight. So I'm just like, say a big one, like the Canon 5D Mark IV. I just looked up, that's about like close to two pounds. But then if you got a big lens on there, then, you know, I'd still think that'd be under five pounds. So this can probably hold the majority of the cameras that you have besides if you have like a giant camcorder maybe. So other than that, both of them are pretty good with holding standard DSLRs. The Joby and the Bontan, they're both uh, rubber and have plastic on them. Uh, it says the Joby has stainless steel and I'm pretty sure that's the same thing that they use to bend on the Bontan. Not exactly sure, I couldn't find it, but they are pretty much the same material. The only thing with the Bontan is it's a little more flat instead of circular like the Joby bendable legs. Uh, the legs are more, I guess, flat than circular, so that's one thing that's different. So like I showed earlier, both of the tripods do have ball heads, which is the little thing on top of the tripod that allows you to flex uh, your camera in any kind of angle or direction. With the Bontan, you don't really need to worry about getting the ball head itself because it already comes with it, and that's just 20 bucks. 
So the Bonten weighs 11 ounces and the Joby weighs 0.88 pounds, which is 14 ounces. So the Joby is a little bit heavier than the Bonten, probably not too much of a difference, but that's something to factor in when you're holding the tripod and you kind of want to vlog. So it's going to be a little bit heavier with the Joby instead of the Bonten. So that's something to keep in mind. One thing that I see about Joby, it is 14 inches in height around that area. And um, as I showed before, the Bonten was about 11 inches to a foot long. So it's going to be a little bit taller. That can be either a pro or a con, so you might be able to capture more things. But with more height, it is going to get heavier. Maybe not too much heavier, but it will get heavier since it's a little bit taller. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And both tripods do have a quick release plate and a leveler on it. So you'll be able to see if your camera's level and you can just quickly access uh, putting quick release plates on there if you have multiple ones. So they're pretty much the same around that. The only difference really is just the color of the tripod and like kind of the shape. It's like instead of the circular balls, they have the, um, it's kind of flat and then it's like a greenish yellow kind of color on the Bonten. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only difference I really see with them besides just the little uh, differences in specifications. Also, one thing they have in common is the Joby tripod on Amazon has four and a half stars uh, in reviews and then it also has four and a half stars for the Bonten. The only difference is the Bonten has 304 customer reviews while the uh, Joby has 1,798. So you can know for sure that Joby is going to be reliable. But if you trust me enough, I think the Bonten tripod is reliable enough too. I've had this for about like two to three months and I've been using it and it seems pretty fine to me. Uh, I've seen from both sides that some of the legs break. But I honestly think that's if you're bending it like crazy every single time. But if you just want like a vlogging handle or something to wrap it around then I think you should go with Bonten if you're just going for like the simple aspect of it and I don't know because I don't know why you'd pay like $20 more or like 20 to 30 dollars more I, I really can't see that uh, I'm just more about saving money but I guess other youtubers use Joby a lot so that's why you can see it as reliable the only thing that I've noticed like a con of mine I haven't tried Joby but on mine, it was a little wobbly when it was super windy outside, and that's because, like, Hurricane Irma. I, I mean, I live in North Carolina, so, like, I'm kind of close to Florida, but it was really windy that day, and there was a little bit of wobbling when I was filming. But otherwise than that, I haven't noticed anything when it was windy, except for when it was, like, really powerful wind. So, otherwise than that, it was pretty stable from all the other times I was using. I, I didn't notice any shake, except maybe there's a little bit of shake when you press the record button. But after that, it's pretty stable throughout whenever you're filming. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little review slash comparison. So if you definitely want something like this, I definitely recommend getting the Bond 10 over the Joby. You can still get Joby if you want to. I have a link to both of those in the description. Uh, it's just say, you know, Bond 10 flexible tripod or Joby flexible tripod. And also, if you want something for your iPhone, I had a, I used this for a while when I was using my phone to record my videos. This is another flexible tripod. I don't, it's like RIF 6. Um, that'll also be in the description if you want that too, but that is really cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks, and that's just for your iPhone or any kind of smartphone if you want to film those videos, and it bends the legs and you can put around anything that you want. But otherwise than that, that really helps you guys. Make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer them because I've been using this for a decent amount of time so I can answer questions about this. But like I said before, all the links will be in the description so you can check those out. If you're a normal viewer of my videos, sorry I haven't posted a skating video in a while. Uh, college is getting really busy, but I'll have one soon so don't worry about that. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Have a nice day.